Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Reggie with Red Lion Productions. And what I'm going to show you guys today is something that I've come across that's really helped my drum tracks. It's helped them make them fuller and thicker and, and warm. And um, what I'm going to be using, as you can see, I've got the MPC Renaissance. And um, also going to be using the Universal Audio Apollo interface that has the built in. UAD plugins, and there's one plugin in, in particular that I'm going to show you guys. But uh, first, you can see right here I've got some drums loaded up, and um, let me just show you what those sound like right now. Now, these are dry, I haven't loaded anything up, so here's what they sound without anything. And there you go. So they sound uh, kind of flat. So what I'm going to do is uh, go over here to my track mixer, turn my insert effect on, and there's a one effect, uh, effect in particular I'm going to use. It's become really my favorite. It's called the Fatso Junior. And um, it's kind of a a combination of a compressor, a limiter, and a tape saturator all in one. It's really helped me uh, turn my drum tracks up. So I'm going to go here, pull up the interface, as you can see it there, for the Fatso. And I'm going to load up a preset. It's called Warm Tracking Comp. I guess that's short for compressor. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to edit it just a little bit. I'm going to have uh, Spank initiated and Tranny turn on the transistor. I'm going to turn the warmth up and I'm going to turn the, the output to 7. And let's see what that does for, uh, for these drums. So you can tell there that it's really brought them up. I'm going to turn the output up just a little bit more. Turn about about 8. What I'm also going to do is um, just to add a little bit more grit to it, I'm going to engage one of the vintage modes. And I'm going to use the SP1200 vintage mode that comes with the Renaissance. Adds a little bit more grit to it. So let's see what that sounds like. So there you go. Definitely adds a lot of warmth and, and grit to it. Great for some solid drums. So let's take a, a little comparison. I'm going to bypass the fatso so you can hear it here so that's where we started at and this is what we ended up with definitely definitely sounds better with that fatso kinda like a secret Season salt on the drums makes them sound a whole lot better. So, there you have it. Again, my name's Reggie with Red Lion Productions. If you have any questions about this setup, whether it be the Universal Audio Apollo interface or some effects or the MPC Renaissance, hit me up. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to talk to you guys later.